Answering questions, easy. Answering questions under pressure when the main reason you're in showbiz is because you didn't do well at school, that sounds like great television. Welcome to The Weakest Link. I'm joined by eight celebrities, each hoping to win up to £50,000 for charity. To do that, they'll try to work as a team, in the same way my left eye tries to work with my right. But seven will leave with nothing, as round by round we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Kay, I'm a broadcaster and loose woman, and I'm from Glasgow. I'm JJ, I'm a TV and radio presenter from Edinburgh. I'm Chizzy, I'm an actor from London. I'm Sharp Haddock, I'm a comedian and author from West London. I'm Linda, I'm an actress and loose woman from London. I'm Sean, I'm a broadcaster on Countryfile and Good Morning Britain and I'm from London. I'm Martel, I'm a presenter on Homes Under the Hammer and I'm from Dundee. I'm Ed, I'm a comedian from London. Well done, guys. I thought you all smashed that. Great. Good <laughs> intro, except for one of you, but I don't want to go into it now. Uh, now for the rules. In each round, the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your target within the time limit. The target for round one is £2,500. The fastest way to get there is to work together to create a chain of eight correct answers. Get your question wrong, you break the chain and you lose all the money in that chain. But if you press your button and say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe, and you begin a new chain from scratch. You've got two and a half minutes for this round. We'll start with the person who is most likely to call their teacher mum. That's you, Ed Gamble. <laughs> Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Ed, in the calendar, St Valentine's Day is celebrated annually on the 14th of which month? February. Correct. K, in the animal kingdom, cobra, viper and python are all types of which limbless reptile? Sneak. Correct. JJ, in pop music, the 2014 UK number one single for Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars is titled Uptown What? Bunk. Correct. Chizzy, in desserts, the term banoffee is made by blending the word toffee with the name of which fruit? Banana. Correct. Shappy, look at your screen. What is the name of this planet in our solar system? Saturn. Correct. Linda, the reality TV series that includes the Made to Measure Challenge is titled The Great British Sewing What? <sighs> Bake off. <laughs> it's correct, it's big. <laughs> Sean, in visitor attractions, the Jorvik Viking Centre is situated in Coppergate in which English city? Um, Lincoln. Incorrect, it's York. Martel, in England in May 2021, the minimum price of a single use plastic bag increased from 5p to how many pence? 10p. Correct. Ed. In science, what W is the liquid form of the common substance with a chemical formula H2O? Water. Correct. K. In hospitality, the term B&B &B refers to a guest house that will offer a bed and which morning meal? Breakfast. Correct. JJ. In sayings, the common response to the expression see you later alligator is in a while what? Crocodile. Correct. Chizzy. In 1666, the Great Fire of London started in a bakery on a street with what name? Penny Lane or Pudding Lane? Pudding Lane. Correct. Shappy. In nature, what word can be used to refer to both the woody stem of a tree and the elongated nose of an elephant? Trunk. Correct. Linda. In customs, what D is the name of the five-day festival of lights celebrated by Hindus, Sikhs and Jains? Uh, give me a clue. Incorrect, it's Diwali. <laughs> Sean. In entertainment, the animated duo that first appeared in the 1989 short film titled The Grand Day Out are Wallace and which other character? Bromet. Correct. Martel, in World Geography, the series of waterfalls on the US-Canada border that is split into three parts by Goat and Lunar Islands has what collective name? Niagara Falls. Correct. Ed. Bank. In novels, according to the title of the debut novel by E.L. James, there are how many shades of grey? Fifty. Correct. K. In children's toys, what K is the first name of the male doll introduced in 196... Time's up. You banked only £100. You could have won £2,500, but for some reason, you don't like generating money. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> just bearing in mind how easy those questions were.
I, I would say it took more effort to bank as little money as you did, but well done. <laughs> so, who thinks private schools are just secret schools? <laughs> who thinks Kiev was named after a famous chicken dish? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. With only £100 banked, that was a bad start. Linda is the weakest link, as she got the most wrong. Let's see if she survives the vault. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Sorry, Sean. Linda. Sorry, Linda. Sorry, Linda. Sorry, Kay. Linda. 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 Well, interesting about that. I, I don't know what was uh, sad at the people that voted for Linda or the people that started referring to her as Sorry Linda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it felt like a bit unnecessary. Kay, why did you decide to vote for Sean? Well, I mean, out of total misplaced loyalty, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> and Sean, I will never do it again. I thought, poor old Sean, I'm going to have to go for Sean because he maybe got one wrong, because Linda, my dear old friend Linda, I, I couldn't possibly vote her out. Who did she vote for? <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> couldn't care less. Couldn't give a stuff. Yeah. Uh, Ed. Hello. You were the absolute saviour of that travesty of a round because you were the only one that bothered to bank. Yeah, I think everyone else forgot about the banking thing. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that was kind of enraging you slightly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there are any cameras on me while other people were answering questions, but I was literally here just <laughs> dancing around screaming bank. In so my it's, head. yeah, it's winding you up. Uh, why did you vote for Linda? Well, uh, the reason I voted for Linda, I've also done a little drawing of, which is uh, a baguette crossed with a needle. Mm -hmm. which is the logo for the new show, The Great British Sewing Bake Off. <laughs> <laughs> um, Linda. Yes, love. Did you think there was any chance of you getting that question correct when you said I bake knew as soon as I said bake off, it was B, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, but yes. just Sewing at that B. moment, I couldn't sure. remember it. Another question he gave us the answer, <laughs> give us a clue. You were just answering <laughs> in television shows. <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it always me that gets chucked off first? Oh. Why am I always the stupid cockney one? <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, listen, it's, if, it, if it's any consolation, it's not discrimination, it's because of the way you have performed okay. uh, so far. So, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Linda, with six votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I'd love to say you did great, but you didn't. <laughs> no, I was rubbish. I know the Great British Sewing Bee, but for some reason, <laughs> I went into panic mode and said the Great British Sewing Bake Off. I thought Ramesh is new to this and maybe he'll, like, help this elderly lady out and give her a clue to one of the questions, but no, he didn't. Round two. You've won £100 so far out of a possible 2,500. Seven players are left and we are taking 10 seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Ed. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Ed, the TV sitcom starring Lee Mack and Sally Breton that was broadcast live for a 2018 Christmas special is titled Not Going What? Out. Correct. Bank. Kay. In tennis, the multiple Grand Slam winning sisters called Venus and Serena share what surname? Williams. Correct. JJ, in politics, the official address of the UK Prime Minister is at number 10 on which road in London? Downing Street. Correct. Chizzy, in language, the adjective canine is used to describe something relating to which animal? Dog. Correct. Shappy, in paintings, the 1940 work self-portrait with thorn necklace and hummingbird is by the Mexican-born artist Frida who? Carlo. Correct. Bank. Sean, look at your screen. Which celebrity is the subject of this picture taken at the 2021 Met Gala? Um, Lady Gaga? Incorrect, it's Kim Kardashian. Martel, in maths, what is 99 divided by 3? 33. Correct. Ed, in music, what E is the usual stage name of the rapper born Marshall Bruce Mathers III? Eminem. Correct. K, in nursery rhymes, in the common version of the verse that begins with the line, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, which animal jumps over the moon? Cow. Correct. 
JJ, in UK employment, the tax certificate that is given to a worker because they are leaving a job has what name? P45 or P60? P45. Correct. Chizzy, Bank. in awards, the actor that won an Oscar for his performance in the 2001 film Training Day is Denzel who? Washington. Correct. Shappy, in entertainment, what W is the name of both a music festival held in 1969 in New York State and a small yellow bird from the comic strip Peanuts? Woodstock. Correct. Bank. Sean, in computing, the two digits used to create binary code are zero and which other? One. Correct. Martel, the TV series, first broadcast in 2017, featuring Jay Blades and a team of experts who restore heirlooms, is called The Repair What? Shop. Correct. Ed, look at your screen. Which children's author drew this illustration? Uh, Enid Blyton. Incorrect, it's Beatrix Potter. Bank. K, in astrology, which sign of the zodiac runs from May into June and is represented by a pair of twins? Gemini. Correct. Bank. JJ, in motor racing in 2020, which British-born driver won his seventh Formula One Lewis world Hamilton. title? Bank. Time's up. JJ, uh, you're correct, but Chizzy, I'm afraid your bank was out of time. I disagree. <laughs> well, fortunately, your opinion doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Which means out of a possible £2,500, you've put in the bank £1,200, which is better than last round, but let's be honest. <laughs> Ten times better. It couldn't have been worse. <laughs> so, who thinks uranium is a suppository? <laughs> who thinks the capulets are a way of taking ibuprofen? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Well, that was much better. They're definitely improving. Ed and Sean both got one wrong, so either one could be at risk. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Ed. Ed. Sean. Sean. Ed. Sean. Sean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Ed, how are you feeling? I feel like Lazarus, mate. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> heart. When the votes came in there, I thought. I'm loving this. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I saw you. I saw you laughing when the second I'm one so came in. I'm so sorry, but it's just I was excited. Uh, Ed, uh, why did you vote for Sean? I, I felt like my head was on the chopping block. Sean was the only other person to get one wrong, I think. So I just I had I had to vote for him. Kay, your banking strategy. <laughs> what? It's interesting, isn't it? By interesting, I mean I don't think you understand it. <laughs> <laughs> at, at one point there was no money on the table, and you I said bank. Ed got one right, didn't he? Maybe. I did. The, f the first question yeah. I got right, and you banked immediately. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's and then JJ. the next time I got one what? wrong, and you banked. Yeah, I mean, you banked immediately after an incorrect answer. JJ's in my ear all the time, going bang, bang, what? bang. I yeah. thought, bang. <laughs> you voted for Ed? I did. Well, just because I couldn't vote for Sean again. <laughs> <laughs> and the drawing is themed with the incorrect answer. Well, indeed. It started as a little bunny, it's turned into a horse. So I don't know if Beatrix <laughs> Potter <laughs> did horses. Um, well, Sean. Yeah, I need to swat up on Kim Kardashian's body shape, don't I? Or just be aware of the most shared photo in the world <laughs> when it came out, that's all. <laughs> um, did you have any idea that it might be? Well, I, I thought it might be her, but then I thought Lady Gaga wears odd things, so I plumped for Lady Gaga. I mean, do you feel sort of hard done by at all? I, I feel a bit betrayed, some, some people. Like, Chizzy said she loves me. I before don't! When did she say that? She said she loves me and then she sacked me off the show. It feels like you've got some things to work out. Uh, so, Sean, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Love you. We love you, Sean. Love you. love you, Sean. I could answer every other question for everybody else, but there were a couple that just sort of seemed to uh, flummox me, and they were the ones that came my way. I think Ed should be the one to go in the next round, because he's very confident, verging on cocky. Round three. You've got £1,300 out of a possible £5,000 so far. In this round, we're up in the stakes. Not only are you down to six players with another 10 seconds off the clock, but the target is now £5,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, JJ. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. 
JJ, in money, the basic unit of currency of Vietnam has what name in English? Ding or dong? Dong. Correct. Chizzy, in pop music, the singles Don't Cha and Stick With You were 2005 UK number one hits for which group, led by Nicole Scherzinger? Puss Cat Dolls. Correct. Shappy, in language, what word is both a unit of speed equal to one nautical mile per hour and a type of looped fastening with rope? Not. Correct. Martel, in which 1985 film does the character Marty McFly travel to the 1950s in a DeLorean car that has been converted into a time machine? Back to the Future. Correct. Ed. Bank. In theatre in 2012, James Corden won a Tony Award for his role in the play titled One Man, Two What? Governors. Correct. K, in the human body, what eye is a hormone produced by the pancreas that helps regulate blood sugar levels? Insulin. Correct. JJ. In the standard rendition of the song Happy Birthday, the word you is sung how many times? Two. Incorrect, it's three. Chizzy. In South American geography, Copacabana Beach, which stretches for over two miles, is part of the coastline of which city in Brazil? Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, uh, ooh, Rio. Correct. Shappy. In literature, in which 2003 Dan Brown novel do the characters Robert and Sophie decipher clues from a murder scene in the Louvre? The Da Vinci Code. Correct. Martel. In UK general elections, if no party wins an overall majority of seats, the resulting parliament is said to be what? Hung or dangling? Hung. Correct. Ed. Bang. In food, the gelatinous sweet made from starch and syrup and often flavoured with rose water is commonly known in the UK as Turkish what? Delight. Correct. K. Look at your screen. This is a prop from which 2000 film? Castaway. Correct. JJ, in customs, what H is the name of the ceremonial Maori war dance and chant that is performed by the New Zealand Packer. rugby teams at international fixtures? Correct. Chizzy. Bank. In TV, the name of the fictional police department at the centre of the series Line of Duty is known as AC what? 12. Correct. Shappy, in broad... Time's up. That was... Blistering. Oh, man, no, I wouldn't have known your answer. What a round, guys! Oh. Ah, can, you... can we guess now? Oh. Oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> Out of a possible five thousand pounds, you put in the bank one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Can you feel? It's like electric. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Come That's on. That's weakest link, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that felt great. Uh, so, who says pass on multiple choice questions? Who thinks IQ is something you do at the post office? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Cheesy had a brilliant round and is the strongest link. As the only contestant to get one wrong, JJ was the weakest. Let's see who they vote for. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. JJ. Shappy. JJ. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, not quite as edgy a vote as the last one. Um, Chizzy, how are you getting on? I think I'm doing all right, thank yeah. you. What were your expectations of how you're going to do coming into this? Yeah, I thought I'd do all right. <laughs> so, um, you know. so you're about par? Yes. Yeah, and you actually banked a decent amount of money, so well done for that. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, we're all very Can proud. Can I take that home now? No, it's, it is for charity, let me remind course, you. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Martel, Chizzy's sort of enjoying herself. I've, I've got to say, your style is very much as soon as I turn to you to ask you a question, you sort of, like, really cling to your podium. Yeah. And, like, how are you feeling? Well, I have to really focus mm. because it's times like this I realise I'm not as intelligent as I hope I am, you know? How intelligent do you hope you are? <laughs> I hope I'm a wee bit intelligent. But okay. Got to really, your, your mind can empty, as Linda sort of proved. <laughs> Poor Linda. <laughs> she went first round, but we still keep going back to that well, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you vote for JJ? Because he got one wrong and every sympathy for him. If there are awards for nicest guy, but it's not, it's brutal. You got one wrong. JJ. Yeah. 
Happy birthday. It's just, I just wondered if you had particularly sad birthdays where nobody could be bothered um, to get to the full end of the song. <laughs> well, let's just, well, let's well, just finish it. His name is had enough. <laughs> Blow the candles out. Let's go home. <laughs> my right. birthday is just before Christmas, so they kind of get they get merged into one a lot in my house. So okay. yeah, doesn't it? Then maybe you're right. Maybe it's maybe there is like a deep psychological trauma I need to get over. Sure. Well, <laughs> it's a very sad story. And you, I'll be honest with you. You've made it slightly too dark for the show. <laughs> Uh, but JJ, with five votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. See you, JJ. Happy birthday for whenever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's amazing. I'm glad to have played it, but it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> Round four. So far, you've banked £3,050 out of a potential prize money of £10,000. There are just five of you left, and we're taking another ten seconds off the clock. So you only have two minutes to bank a possible £5,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Chizzy. Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Chizzy, in money, the equipment used to randomly select winning numbers for the monthly premium bonds prize draw is known as what? Bert or Ernie? Ernie. Correct. Shappy, the 2017 non-fiction book by Adam Kay, subtitled Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor, is called This Is Going To What? Hurt. Correct. Martel, in directions, in an alphabetical list of the names of the four main or cardinal points of a compass, which comes first? East. Correct. Ed, in US politics in 2016, who became the first woman to earn the nomination of the Democratic Party to run for president? Uh, Hillary Clinton. Correct. Bank. K, in TV, what P is both the name of the dog that won Britain's Got Talent with its owner Ashley and the bear that is a mascot of children in need? Hudson. Correct. Chizzy, in history, in 1840, a German prince called Albert married which British monarch? Queen, uh, Elizabeth I? Incorrect, it's Victoria. Shappy, in football, which team, nicknamed the Toffees, play against Liverpool in the fixture called the Merseyside Derby? Tottenham. Incorrect, it's Everton. Martel, look at your screen. This is a performance of which Shakespeare play? Othello. Incorrect, it's Hamlet. Ed, in maths, what is 50% of 40? 20. Correct. Bank. K. In music, the 20th century classical musician Jacqueline Dupre is best known for playing which stringed instrument? Violin. Incorrect, it's cello. Chizzy. In cinema, Daniel Radcliffe stars in a 2012 film adaptation of which novel? The Woman in Black or The Woman in White? Oh, The Woman in Black. Correct. Shappy. In 1911, which scientist, known for her work on radioactivity, became the first person to win a second Nobel Prize? Fleming. Incorrect is Marie Curie. Oh. Time's up. Out of a possible £5,000, you banked 850. So, who thinks the Netherlands is where Peter Pan lives? Yeah. <laughs> who sees the bottom of the barrel as an aspirational target? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Now, Ed is easily the strongest link. All the others got at least one wrong. Who will go in this vault? Your guess is as good as mine. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Shappy. Shappy. Chizzy. Shappy. Chaparac. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, listen, I know that you got a bit annoyed with me for pointing out about your understanding of the banking system, but turns out it was a teachable moment. You actually banked some money in that round, so... Oh, did I do it properly? Yes, you did. You oh, did. my goodness. You took that on board, <laughs> you learned from it, and you actually banked some money, so I feel, re I feel like we've made, like, a... Oh, that's really nice. Ed, Ed passed on the responsibility to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you dealt with the pressure beautifully. Really nice. Well done. I say, I say well done. I sort of. I, I think I should take partial credit for it because it was. No, no, I'm taking wasn't it. Thank you. I'm taking it. it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, why did you vote for Shappy? 
Oh, with a heavy heart, with a heavy heart. This is such a brutal game. It's like Lord of the Flies. Mm. Um, it really is. I don't think I would have answered that question properly either, Shappy. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that was... Uh, sorry, did you want me to be Not quite as meaner? cutthroat as I hoped it was going to be. <laughs> Shizzy. Hi. <laughs> Why did you vote for Shappy? Um, unfortunately, I think she got two wrong. I did the only two wrong in the whole game. Yes, Shappy, but yep. to be fair, most of that round was waiting for you to answer that last question. <laughs> I know. Felt like a long old time, that, that last question. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know about Marie Curie as well, mm. but I suddenly lost, lost confidence in when the Nobel Prizes started. Sure. And it was when you asked me about football and I got that wrong, and as everyone knows, I'm a world authority <laughs> on football, especially Everton. Yes. So then I lost my confidence and said Fleming. Sure. After Ian what felt Fleming. like 45 to 50 seconds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Shappy, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Bye, Han. Bye bye. I'm disappointed to come out. I was having a great time, and up until the last round, I didn't get a single question wrong. So I felt so confident, but I didn't have a prayer with the football question. The walk of shame felt like this iconic moment. It felt like I was walking up the aisle to get married, but knowing that I was going to be stood up at the end. Round five. So far, you've banked a total of £3,900 out of a possible 15000 There are only four people remaining, and another 10 seconds are coming off the clock. But the target is going to increase again to £7,500. Let's start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Ed. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Ed, in sport, what is the surname of the twins Tracy and Phil who coached the 2019 England women's teams at the Netball and FIFA World Cups, respectively? Jones. Incorrect, it's Neville. OK, in TV, in 2019, the presenter Fiona Bruce replaced David Dimbleby as the host of which BBC debate programme? Question time. Correct. Chizzy, in classical mythology, which hero was given 12 labours, including trapping a boar and collecting golden apples? Hercules. Correct. Martel. Thank in music, the Brit Award-winning artist, whose 2021 debut album is titled Collapsed in Sunbeams, is known professionally as Arlo Who? Phillips. Incorrect, it's Parks. Ed, in children's literature, the fictional vegetable called the snozcumber is eaten by the title character of which Roald Dahl novel? BFG. Correct. Bank. K. In French culture, what E is both the nickname of the oldest bell at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris and the first name of the politician who became President of France in 2017? Emmanuel. Correct. Chizzy, look at your screen. What is the name of this historic royal palace? Blenheim. Incorrect, it's Hampton Court. <laughs> Martel, in animation, what name for the yellow creatures in the Despicable Me franchise is also the title of a 2015 spin-off film? Minions. Correct. Ed, in food, what K is a fish, typically a herring, that is split open and cured with salt and smoke? Kipper. Correct. Bank. K. In celebrities, in 2020, which country music singer announced she was donating $1 million to a Nashville medical centre to fund COVID vaccine research? Um, Dolly Parton. Correct. Chizzy. Bank. The 2019 TV drama series that stars Saran Jones and is inspired by the life and diaries of Anne Lister is titled Gentleman What? Jack. Correct. Bank. Martel, in cosmetics, the ingredient retinol, which is often used in skincare products. Time's up. Out of a possible £7,500, you put in the bank 1750 which is, you know, OK. So, who thought Julius Caesar was a salad? Who thinks an octopus is eight cats? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. A storming round from Kay, so she's the strongest link. But with slip-ups from all the others, it's hard to predict who is going. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Chizzy. <gasps> Martel. Chizzy. Chizzy. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, once again, great banking. Oh, great thank you. banking. And I know you feel relieved there because you don't think I'm going to mention the fact that you gave yourself a visual cue on one of the questions. <laughs> just, oh, to sort of help, just to sort of help prod your memory a little bit. Good. Well, it was because I was going to say something else. For some reason, I was going to say Taylor Swift, and I thought, no, it's not Taylor Swift, who is it? And then I had to kind of prompt myself. <laughs> well, you've done it again. <laughs> yeah, I have, yes. haven't I? <laughs> uh, why did you vote for Chizzy? Oh, because it's, it's, it's a game show and you have to, and I don't want to, because, Chizzy, you were going to win this thing, but you got... It was these royal questions that <laughs> tripped yeah. you. I mean, I mean, you sort of are behaving like you're heartbroken about it, but you did add a crown just to sort of hammer home the point. <laughs> That's because that she's a this... queen. Oh, I see. Oh, see it wasn't because she got every royal question wrong. No. No, no, no. no that's she's just a queen. A, that's just a happy coincidence. <laughs> uh, Ed. Ramesh. Don't care about women's football, no? Uh, I don't care about football in general. I thought that's what you might say. Yes. Uh, was, was that, that was pure guess, wasn't it? Pure guess, and I just thought, I definitely don't know it, so let's give an answer quickly so we can move on and get some money. OK. Well done for trying to style an incorrect answer into a positive. I Thank you. It. I really <laughs> liked it. Um, why did you vote for Chizzy? Well, I think there are a few wrong answers knocking around, and I just sort of picked Chizzy, and I'm sorry. But I put some stars, cos Chizzy's a star. You put some stars, yeah, and you put... This is really... I'll be honest with you, it's starting to get sickening, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> All right, I voted for her cos she's the worst at the quiz. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank finally, some honesty. I got one wrong. Yeah, you did. In that round. Royal questions proved to be your undoing, right? Like, if you get a royal question, you know, who's Prince William married to, that kind of thing. But, sure. sadly, you went way back before I was even Yeah, we went of. into a bit of history, yeah. Well, look, I'm, I'm glad to, that we were able to give you a new hang-up. Thanks. About your general knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chizzy, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I got voted out. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm coming home. It feels really soul destroying to be voted off as the weakest link because I don't think in that round I was. I'm pretty sure it was Martel. Can I get a selfie? There's no signal here. Good. <laughs> see you later. I'll get a selfie. I would like to see Martel voted off next uh, because I'm bitter. I'm gone. I'm gone. Round six. So far, you have banked £5,650 out of a possible £22,500. Only three of you left. Another ten seconds are coming off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Kay. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Kay. In naval history in 1789, William Bly and members of the crew were cast adrift in the Pacific Ocean following a mutiny on which ship? The Bounty. Correct. Thanks. Martel, in art, the 1660s painting by Vermeer of a woman wearing a blue and yellow turban is known as the girl with a pearl what? Necklace. Incorrect, it's earring. Ed, on an invitation, the term RSVP used to request a response is an abbreviation of a phrase in what language? French. Correct. K, in pop music in 2021, the singles titled Driver's Licence and Good For You were UK number one hits for the singer-songwriter Olivia who? Coleman. Incorrect is Rodrigo. Martel, in Asian geography, which island country is sometimes known as the teardrop of India due to its shape and location? Tahiti. Incorrect, it's Sri Lanka. Ed, in US politics, what W goes before scandal in the name of the 1970s affair involving the Nixon administration that was investigated by Washington Post journalists? Watergate. Correct. Bank. K, in maths, what is 88 minus 71? Uh, 60. Incorrect, it's 17. Oh, Martel, in literature, the 2003 prize-winning novel by Lionel Shriver is titled We Need to Talk About Who? We Need to Talk About... Um, oh, Christopher. Incorrect, it's Kevin. Kevin. Ed, in sport, what P goes before bars in the name of the apparatus used in artistic gymnastics? Parallel. Correct. K, in TV, which game show, originally presented by Richard O'Brien, was hosted by Richard Iwade in the 2017 revival? The Crystal Maze. Correct. Thank you. Martel, in English spelling, in the name of the US state... Time's up. God, the wheels came off the bogey there, didn't they? <laughs> you won £1,000 in that round. So far, you've won £6,650 out of a possible £30,000. Uh, in the next round, not only does the money go up to a possible £10,000, but you get the chance to double what you bank, which means there's £20,000 up for grabs. So think very carefully about this next decision. Who thinks Swansea Bay 
is Swansea's girlfriend. Who thinks double glazing is a donut topping? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Strongest link Ed got all of his questions right. Weakest link Martel got all of hers wrong. Kay was somewhere in between, but it all comes down to this final vote. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Martel. Kay. Kay. Ed, yes. voted for Kay. I did. Can you explain your illustration? Because I think it explains the reason for you voting how you did. In a previous vote, uh, Kay voted for me uh, and drew a bunny. Uh, and I said I wouldn't hold on to that grudge. But I did. Uh, and this is where the revenge rabbit has come to play. The revenge rabbit? Yes. Uh, Martel, at one point, when you were struggling for an answer, you sort of started clicking your fingers at me as if you wanted more bread brought over to the table. Yeah. What was that, what was that all about? <laughs> Kevin, it got... St Talk about Kevin. I've read the book. Right. It's like, you know, just on the tip of my... Oh, it felt like you were signalling to me. Kay. Yep. How do you feel about the, uh, the voting? Oh, well, you know, I think for that arithmetic question, I absolutely deserve to go, but um, I'm very amused by Ed's uh, <laughs> bunny <laughs> obsession there. I mean, did, did He's you... a bunny boiler, isn't he? He's a bunny boiler. <laughs> this has been the most nerve-wracking evening in a long time. I am happy to take that walk of shame. I didn't really think it was fair to vote for Martel, but I would only have to vote for myself. Having said that, I should have voted for you. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you're as all right about it as you're making out to <laughs> No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> that was... It really... It was a really pleasant chat, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> there was all this really aggressive turn I've at the end of it. I just reached in and found my, my inner bunny. No, yeah, it's yeah. great. Well, Kay, with uh, two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I loved Ed's revenge rabbit. <laughs> Whoever thought that a rabbit would come and bite me in the bum at the end of the day, but it did. The walk of shame was really difficult, particularly in these heels. I didn't think I would make it to the end. Round seven. So far, you've won £6,650. This time, you've got just 90 seconds. But whatever you win will be doubled, meaning that the round is worth a possible £20,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Ed. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Ed, the 1999 film about someone who finds a portal into the mind of an American actor is titled Being John Watt. Malkovich. Correct. Thank you. Martel, in literature, in which Robert Louis Stevenson novel is the character Jim told to be aware of a seafaring man with one leg? Kidnapped. Incorrect. Treasure Island. Ed. In 18th century art, what animal is depicted in the George Stubbs painting called Whistle Jacket? A horse? Correct. Thanks. Martel. In UK geography, which river is formed near Hexham and flows past Gateshead, Jarrow and South Shields before emptying into the North Sea? Tyne. Correct. Ed. In food, what bee, derived from a Yiddish word, is the name for a dense bread roll in the shape of a ring that is boiled and then baked? Bagel. Correct. Martel. Thanks. In darts in 2013, which player, nicknamed The Power, set a record when he won a 16th World Championship title? Phil Taylor. Correct. Ed, in politics, the former health minister and I'm a celebrity contestant appointed culture secretary in 2021 is Nadine Hu. Doris. Correct. Thank you. Martel, in pop music, the 2018 BBC documentary subtitled After the Screaming Stops is about which 1980s group? Wham. Incorrect, it's Bross. Ed, in chemistry, dry ice, which can be used for theatrical effects, is a solid form of the gaseous compound called carbon what? Monoxide. Incorrect, dioxide. Martel, in film, what G is the one-word title of the 2013 drama starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney as astronauts stranded in space? Time's up. The answer was, of course, gravity. You won £1,500. We'll double that and add that to your winnings from the previous rounds. That means a total prize money of £9,650. But only one of you can take that money away for your chosen charity tonight. It's time to play head-to-head. -head. In this round, I'll ask alternate questions. It's the best of five. 
Whoever answers the most questions correctly wins. It's as simple as that. If there's a tie after five questions each, we'll go to sudden death until we have a winner. Ed, as the strongest link in the last round, you have the choice of who goes first. I'll go first, please, Ramesh. So, Martel and Ed for £9,650. And for the final time tonight, let's play The Weakest Link. Ed. In home decor, what word for a type of molten rock goes before lamp in the name of a decorative light designed by Edward Craven Walker in the 1960s? Lava. The correct answer is lava. Martel. In political history, President Ronald Reagan said, Mr Gorbachev, tear down this wall during a 1987 speech given in which divided European city? Moscow. The correct answer is Berlin. Mm. Ed. In honours, which England footballer who campaigned for children of low-income families to be given free school meals in the summer holidays was awarded an MBE in 2020? Marcus Rashford. The correct answer is Marcus Rashford. Martel. In celebrity memoirs, which actor wrote an autobiography published in 1975 called I Am Not Spock and another published 20 years later titled I Am Spock? William Shatner. The correct answer is Leonard Nimoy. Uh. Ed. In geography, which Middle Eastern nation is the only country with a common name in English that begins with the letter Q? Qatar. The correct answer is Qatar. Martel, if you get this question wrong, Ed wins the game. In human anatomy, the tendon that connects the heel bone to the calf muscles is named after which character from Greek mythology? Hercules. The correct answer is Achilles, which means congratulations, Ed. Well done. You are tonight's strongest link and you win £9,650 for charity. Which charity is your money going to? My money is going to JDRF, who fund research into type 1 diabetes. Brilliant. Martel, you leave with nothing. That's all from tonight's show. I'm Ramesh Ranganathan, and whatever you do, don't be the weakest link. Goodbye. The Hercules heel. Who's ever heard of the Hercules heel? It's the Achilles heel. I got to the final, super chuffed, but what did I do in the final? I choked. My strategy to win the weakest link was to, to get all the questions right uh, and bank a lot of money um, and win the weakest link. That was my strategy to win.